This car was impounded from a police impersonator after he stole the vehicle and led the Sacramento County Sheriff's on a wild high-speed chase. I purchased this car from the victim after it was released from the evidence storage and now we're gonna thoroughly search the car and see what was left behind. You won't believe the criminal evidence and contraband I found. But first, let's play the local newsreel and then proceed to interview the victim and then fully search this vehicle. Cool. Hit that like button and here we go. Impersonating an officer tonight, deputies want to know if he stopped you after he was caught with Sacramento Sheriff uniforms in the trunk of his copycat cop car. That suspect was arrested after leading real deputies on a chase through North Highlands. What else officers found on heart. this guy? Tori. 36-year-old Anthony Whitley was taken into custody, 36. but it's what those deputies found inside of that stolen car that has them asking the public for help tonight. And there's just a lot of cops going everywhere, everywhere. Jose Campos' says Saturday night went from serving up tacos to seeing this stolen white Ford Crown Victoria that resembles an old-school cop car no zipping down cop Watt car. Avenue near Peacekeeper Way. That's My brother told me, no, right down the that was not a me. police car. It, was, it looked like it, but it wasn't. The high-speed stolen car chase ending in a North Highlands neighborhood with a canine helping take 36-year-old Anthony Whitley into custody. But what came next? A shocking discovery to Sacramento Sheriff deputies. They go to search the car. They find a loaded shotgun. They find an imitation handgun that, I mean, by all <laughs> means, and if you've seen the picture, looks as real as can be. Uh, several sheriff's uniforms. Some of the uniforms belonged to a long retired deputy, but Holy how Whitley got them unknown with him having no known relationship to anyone in law enforcement. Wow. This is a guy that's out on probation, should have probably still been in jail to begin with. Yeah, that scares us as much as it scares anybody else is that someone impersonating a law enforcement officer, you know, who knows what they're up to, who knows what they're doing. Right here, we have our victim, Josh. He's going to tell us his side of the story, how everything went down. What the hell happened? So, some fing wannabe cop impersonator took my mother car with a little fleeky, jacked my mother while I was at work, of all places, in a fing secured yard. Yeah. You would think, but they hopped the fence, fleeky, my mother fing decided to do some wannabe cop bull get some, I don't know, where the fing got sheriff uniforms. Took that <laughs> The car apparently stole from some people in Roseville, stole yeah. tools and a bunch of other tweakers. Damn. And then went back to Sacramento, starts getting chased up and down Watt Avenue, and yeah, they caught him, but you yeah. know, had us hit his Damn. ass multiple times. Cops went to town in your car. Nah, you're not detectives, bro. They told me like, yeah, it took multiple attempts to take him down, and they yeah. said that motherfucker's already on probation, so clearly right. this dude knew what he was doing. Right. He had all his guns too. They confiscated for him. He had a whole shotgun and a fake imitation handgun as well. So yeah. Of course, got all his tweaker bull. In there. Oh, this is all his stuff? Yeah, this is all his belongings. Apparently the sheriffs didn't want to take everything. They just wanted the important evidence. That's crazy, yeah. But I'm about to search through all this sh and see what the f I can find. What other evidence I can find. Uh, I'm going to do know. a better job than the detectives. I'm about to say, yeah, they are <laughs> important shit, but they don't think tweaker clothing, they don't think the tools are important. I already found some weird sharp sh there. So you don't, you don't want this no more, huh? Fuck no. I'll be glad to take her off your hands. Would you take a um, thousand dollars for her? Fuck it. Yeah? Down payment for my next whip. Fuck it. What you gonna get? She a 2008 Mustang GT. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. Bro, I want one too. So Hell let yeah. me know if he has another one. We'll become the Mustang Bros. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with our search. This has a nice Go Rhino push bumper. And we have some Whelan LED spotlights on both sides. It's got this nice 4.6 interceptor emblem and the tires look like they're in pretty good condition considering what it's been through oh yee. ouch yeah that might be expensive to fix oh and it gets worse <laughs> oh look at that oh oh no oh no and i hope it didn't bend the gasoline line because that's going to be a bigger problem they definitely hit them right here bam that set off the fuel inertia switch i don't no, I'm really hoping I can get the body cam footage or the dash camera footage. Okay, I'm gonna start my search from the front and work my way to the back. Okay, let's take a quick look inside. Looks like there is all kinds of crackhead stuff. 
Yep, look at that. Let's see if we can find evidence that the police did not catch. Got my gloves on. I'm not taking any chances with this. Ooh, chapstick. Oh, shizn't it. No. <laughs> this is plastic. I wonder if he was wearing this to impersonate the police. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. Oof. Keys. Look at this thing. They've got some postal keys. Look at that. Forklift keys. Motorcycle keys. Who knows what the hell this opens. Jeez. A lock. Security access. As a matter of fact, this guy was wanted for breaking into U-Hauls and stealing U-Hauls. Check this out. A thumb drive. What the hell is this? Okay. Look at this. This was definitely stolen. This is not the guy. Yeah, look, this guy stole his whole identity. Damn. This guy even has his Tony's uniform. How the heck did the cops miss this? I don't know what that is. Since we're right here, let's hear this thing run. Ooh, that sounds super smooth. Super smooth for a stolen car. 79,000 miles. Nice. Okay, let's look under the hood. Oh, very nice. 4.6 liter V8. Look at this engine, only 79,000 miles. Hell yeah. Clean, dirty, but clean. All right, let's give it some gas a little bit. Ooh, yeah. That sounds too clean. Let's turn this off and let's go check the other side. <laughs> Here's the first thing I noticed. A chicken nugget and a cake. Let's start from here. I don't even want to know what this is. I really don't. <laughs> okay. Dude, what the hell? A freaking pickaxe? What the hell are you doing with this? Thing? Third Infantry Division. You probably stole these. A shotgun cleaning thing. All right, please be a biscuit. <laughs> Unfortunately, they took the shotgun. There could be a biscuit in here. But you never know, man. The cops might have missed something. This guy was definitely doing melt theft. Bunch of ducks, rolled up ducks in here. What is that? Oh, scary. Yep, Slim Jim to unlock. This is used to unlock cars. Criminal activity, of course. Check it out. Nine millimeter Ruger. A bullet. This looks like a 40 caliber. Some coin. And a Ruger pin. All right, let's take a look in the back. Savage. This guy had endless security passes. Climbing gear. Definitely stole all this, whatever that is. Freaking beef jerky. Oh, camera. SD card is missing. There's so much stuff. Sheriff Robbie Waters, Sacramento County. This thing is spinning in there. Pity Paws. Dude, the security access cards do not end. Yo, some cholas. All right, let's pull this out. Oh, hell yeah. I could definitely use this around the shop. And it works. Dope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Some tweaker torch. Look at that. Too bad the 49ers didn't win. That really ticked me off. Oh, look, a dome light. Evidence. Dude, stick to the end of the video. We're gonna test this thing out. Super X. Red line tape. This guy stole from a marine. What a straight jerk. All right, let's take a look on the other side. Bro, what the hell is that? Oh, sh Oh, sh Yeah. What the hell is this? This thing is heavy. Yo, guys, is this a zip gun? 
Seriously? Holy shit. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> I am, I am so scared to pull that trigger. Stick to the end of the video. I may just test this out. I don't want to be demonetized, so yeah. Uh, stick to the end of the video. I think we're gonna put this thing to the test. Dude was living in his car or something. <laughs> I am making a straight mess here. Is this what I think it is? Hell Dorado Ranger. Oh, of course. We gotta have the Irish Spring. Straight dirt bag. Oh, laptop of some sort. Red Box Business Solutions. A laptop. Looks like he stole Tony's laptop and his password is just ran right there. It's dead. Look at this. Burglar tools. Hey, some coconut water. You know me, I love me some coconut water but not from a crackhead. Cricket endorser. It's a nice little knife. Some more locks, tools, more batteries, flashlight. What do we have here? Smith and Wesson 1978 buckle. Wow. It's a man fighting a bear. Another USB drive. Okay guys, so I had to move over here because I was in the way of the trucks. Actually, the trucks were in my way. Please be a biscuit. And I'm not talking about bread. Oh, it's starting to rain out of nowhere. Let's start right here. This is a little heavy. Okay, what the hell's here? <laughs> Crack cakes. <laughs> not the kind of biscuits I was talking about. <laughs> Ooh, I could use these to clean up all that mess. Large rifle primers. Primers may explode. Oh, shit. What in the world? Really? Those things could explode? Okay. Magnifying glass. Duty suspenders. Seriously? <laughs> Jeez. Earplugs. Gross. Dude, those are some nasty earplugs. Texas Prison Rodeo. That's where he's heading. Yo, check it out. Ammo. AA light ammo. There's so much garbage in that car. Look, threw away all that nasty clothes. Oh, look at this. We got a Smokey the Bear hat. Stratton hats, Chicago. Seriously? What the hell is this? Oh, check it out. Is this the duty belt he was wearing when he was impersonating the police? <laughs> this guy had a thing for John Wayne and cowboys or something. This thing is freaking heavy. Holy. Was he using this for a, as a fake gun? They go to search the car. They find an imitation handgun that snaps. Some more John Wayne stuff. Bro, what the heck? Oh no. Really? Silicone lube? This thing's look brand new. All right, let's get this spare out of here. <laughs> look at this. I found the source of all his problems. Look, he's got a crack pipe attached to some scuba, scuba diving line. This guy's sucking through here. Lighting the crack pipe over there. Oh my goodness. Guys, do not do drugs. Drugs is what causes all this freaking behavior that only lands you in jail. This is an underwater case. Is this what I... <laughs> it is. It's exactly what I think. Underwater case, scuba gear, crack pipe. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I just... Sport load. Damn. It's a nice knife, Gerber. Hopefully we'll find a case for this here. Now, if you guys see anything you guys like or want, let me know in the comments. Speaking of which, the winners of the last video's lights are these guys right here. You guys email me at this email right here. I'll try to get that to you guys this week. Totally and we got a bunch of random tools. Oh, this 
cowboy stuff. It just doesn't end. Jeez, there's so much stuff in here. Damn, this thing's heavy. Look at this, another one of his victims. Burglar tools. Criminal activity for sure. What do we have here? Pro Mag USA. It's got a hole right there. Odd. Snap on battery, sawzall. Look at all this ammo. Let's collect all this ammo. Look at all this ammo I pulled out of there. Shouldn't this be evidence, right? The guy was on probation. All right, let's take this thing out for a spin. It gets dark so quick. I really hope this vehicle was upgraded to recovered because if not, <laughs> I'm gonna get felony stopped <laughs> and sent to jail. Hey, look, another Crown Vic. All right, here we go. Oh, this car's got some power. Wow, damn. Barely even touched the pedal and it just wants to go. So man, for sure this guy gave the cops a good run for their money. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, we're gonna shoot this double A light 12 gauge bird shot that I found. And we're gonna blast this coconut water. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. <laughs> now guys, in all seriousness, this thing did not work at all. It's just wishful thinking. <laughs> I had the landlord to use the shotgun. All right guys, so I just laid out some of the stuff that was in there. <laughs> All kinds of evidence, criminal activity, criminal tools, criminal activity going on here. But let me tell you what I truly believe that happened. I do not believe that this guy was out impersonating the police. I believe that he was just some dumb tweaker going around burglarizing cars he stole the Crown Vic because everybody knows that these cars are really easy to steal. All you need is a fleet key. Literally one key starts all of them. And this guy just happened to steal the Crown Vic. And he just happened to break into a cop's car. And he found uniforms and he took them. It's probably where he found the shotgun as well. I don't know. That's just my theory. I could be wrong. But... There was no lights and the badges are not really badges. They're just like trophies and, you know, junior officer souvenirs. That's just my theory. I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, I am going to be fully rebuilding this car to make it look like nothing ever happened. Stay tuned for that. All right, shout out to all my channel members. I really appreciate it. If you guys like videos like these, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, share the video. The algorithm is changing, so please hit the like button. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.